This sequence was taken with a Camaflex camera running at normal speed and located at sea site next to the steel control shelter. The equipment was remotely operated until the blast wave had passed. It shows very vividly the long duration of the flash phase and the early stages of the hollow vortex phenomenon with the characteristic skirt formation. The camera is tilted by the operator. The rapid growth of the multi-section stem can be clearly seen together with the formation of an ice cap at the top of the cloud. By changing the lens, a much better impression is given of the full height and detail of the column with the shadow of the ascending explosion mass thrown onto the thin layer of cloud above. The base of the column appears to be almost touching the sea, and as the end of the sequence is reached, the now familiar mushroom shape is seen to be fully developed. Here is a view of the fully developed explosion cloud taken from a Shackleton aircraft orbiting the target area. The camera is running at about 48 frames per second. The contrails left by the Valiant and those of the sampling Canberras waiting to enter the radioactive cloud are clearly visible. Using a Vinton 300 camera running at about 120 frames per second and located at sea site, a filtered record was obtained showing a detailed picture of the early stages of the explosion. This demonstrates the formation of the condensation rings and the flattening of the base of the fireball. The subsequent inward suction producing the hollow vortex is also distinctly portrayed. The incandescent mass continues to ascend, still maintaining its hollow donut shape.
fourth and final round of the series was fired from a balloon system on September the 23rd. In this filtered record, taken with a Vinton 300 running at 200 frames per second from B site, the interesting Wilson cloud formation around the balloon suspension cables is once again clearly defined, together with the incident and reflected shock waves. A Vinton camera running at 50 frames per second in a Shackleton aircraft circling the target area produced these vivid pictures of the radioactive cloud top and thick stem bursting through the low-lying natural cloud formation. Changing to the Camaflex camera at A site, running at normal speed, the head of the cloud can be seen clearly with its long stem of a regular shape, completely different from the multi-section stem of the megaton bursts. Remaining scenes, we see the later stages of the cloud development recorded by cameras in the Shackleton and at A site. <laughs>